As the Lions near the halfway point of their season, quarterback Matthew Stafford is having one of his finest seasons ever. Today at home, he'd lead the Lions to another win. Former Lion Golden Tate back at Ford Field, now with the New York Giants. New York's second possession, quarterback Daniel Jones hit by the blitzing Jared Davis. The ball is loose, picked up by Devon Kennard, the former Giant with the scoop and the score. Lions defense gets him on the board. Later in the first quarter, third and long, not a problem for Matthew Stafford. He's loading up, going deep to a wide open Marvin Hall. 49-yard touchdown. Hall's last three catches were all 47 yards or longer. Lions would have a little fun, too, leading 24-13. Stafford tosses to J.D. McKissick, throws it back to Stafford. He goes deep to Kenny Galladay. He had two touchdowns on the day. Three for Stafford. Lions beat the Giants 31-26. Our own Mike Lissette has more from Ford Field. If the Detroit Lions were going to lose for the fourth straight time, it was not going to happen on Matthew Stafford's watch. Playing against one of the worst defenses in the entire NFL, Stafford had a field day. The Lions quarterback threw 342 yards and scored three touchdowns, leading Detroit to its first victory in over a month. I'm just trying to get the ball to, uh, to our you know, to the guy that's open, to the, where the coverage tells me to throw it. Um, I'm just trying to read every play appropriately and, and trusting our guys are going to win. And uh, they're winning a bunch right now and making great plays for me. So um, that's, that's just what I'm trying to do. Stafford definitely set the tone for the first time in a while. He had help from the defense. For the last three games, Detroit's D had been blamed for a lot of their recent struggles. While they didn't play a perfect game against New York, they came through when it mattered most. There were some pretty, pretty big plays out there, pretty big moments. And I thought, um, you know, we always talk about trying to stay in the moment, not think about what's the next thing, what's going to happen, and do all that. And I thought the guys did a good job of that. That's the biggest thing for us, just play that play in that moment. And for the most part, I thought we were pretty good. Definitely a much-needed win for the Lions, who are now 3-3-1 and one this season. Now Detroit prepares for two games on the road. They're at Oakland next week to play the Raiders. The following week, it's a big divisional showdown in Chicago against the Bears. Reporting from Ford Field in downtown Detroit, I'm Mike Lissette, 13 on your side sports.